My name is Shauna and I'm a researcher for Chagas. And today I want to go through an experiment with you that's going to highlight why it's so important that we keep our hands washed. So for this experiment, what we're going to need is some white bread, some Ziploc bags, and also a marker. And very simply, what we're going to do is we're going to use unwashed hands. So I haven't washed my hands yet. And we are going to take some white bread out of our packet, place it into a Ziploc bag, and label it up. Okay, so I'm going to take my slice of bread out of the packet, brand new packet, and these hands haven't been washed. So I'm just going to rub my hands on the bread. So anything that's on my hands is going to go onto the bread. So even though we can't see it, there's lots of bacteria and germs on my hands, and they should now all be on the bread. And then I'm going to put it into my Ziploc bag. And I'm going to label that bag using my marker. And I'm going to call this bag number one, unwashed. Unwashed. And that's the first half. Simple. I've got my unwashed hands bread in the bag. Next, I'm going to wash my hands for 20 seconds. So that's singing happy birthday if you like that to do that in your head. So now I've washed my hands for 20 seconds, making sure to get all my palms on between my fingers and the back of my hands too, and underneath my nails. So my hands are nice and clean, and I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to take some bread out, just one slice, I'm going to wipe my hands with it, my lovely clean hands now, and I'm going to put that into a Ziploc bag again. And this time, I'm going to label this bag, bag number two, and I'm going to call it washed. Okay. Number two, and washed. So now, I've got my unwashed bread sample and my washed bread sample. And what I'm going to do with the two of these is I'm going to leave them on the countertop for the next two to three days and then I'm going to record what happens. Okay, so what's really important during these two to three days is that you don't open up the bags. Because as I said before, there's some nasty germs in there and you don't want to let them out. Okay, so we'll come back in a couple of days time and see what happened. It's been nine days now since we set up our bread experiment and it's time we check out the results. So the first one I want to look at is my slice of bread that I touched with my unwashed hands. So as we can see, the bread is covered in mold all the way through. So what happened here was any of the microbes or bacteria that were on my unwashed hands were transferred onto the bread when I touched it. And over the last nine days, they've been using that bread as a food source and they've grown quite a lot. Now, if we look at my other sample, the piece of bread that I touched with my hands when I washed them, we see that on one side it's perfectly clean, there is no growth, and on the other side there is just one small colony of bacteria. And what this shows us is that me washing my hands correctly, I was able to remove almost all the bacteria and microbes that were on my hand. Even though my hands looked pretty clean before I washed them, it was only after I washed them that they were thoroughly clean. So now, this is a cool experiment that shows you the importance of washing your hands. And if you want to do this at home, I invite you to try, but always ask your parents' permission. Also, what's really fun to do is if you use your clean hands and a clean slice of bread and wipe it on maybe a tablet screen or a smartphone and put that into a bag for nine days and see just how much growth there is. So thanks very much and remember to keep washing your hands.